Good afternoon. Welcome back to Algebraic Connections. Today we're going to talk about multiplying matrices. Last week we talked about adding, subtracting, and we did multiply by scale factor. We call that scalar multiplication. But today we're going to talk about multiplying two matrices together. In order to multiply two matrices together, the dimensions must have a specific order. Remember the dimensions are the rows by the columns. It's the, so these dimensions are two rows with three columns. Here we have three rows with two columns. Matrices must have dimensions that correlate in order to multiply. What do I mean by correlate? Notice here the row, the columns here match up with the rows on this one. So we could cancel that out and the resulting matrix would be a two by two matrix. Whenever, whenever the columns on the first matrix is the same as the rows on the second matrix, multiplication can take place. Let's take a look at some. Here we have eight matrices labeled as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And we're going to determine if the products are possible. The first ask is A times B. Is that possible? Well, let's look at A and B. A is a two rows, three columns, or two by three matrix. B is a two by three matrix. Is that possible? It is not possible because it is not possible because these two numbers are not the same. Not possible. C times D. Let's look at that possibility. Well, this is two by three matrix. D is a three by two matrix. That is possible because these columns match these rows or the inner two numbers are the same. E and F, we have three by two. F is two by two. And that would be possible because these inner numbers are the same. G and H is two by two. H is one, two, three rows, one column. So these are not the same, so therefore it would not be possible. So the two that are possible are C times D. These are the same, those are possible, but what type of matrix would that result in? That would leave me with two by two. So this would become a two by two if we multiply these matrices. E and F is possible because these two numbers are the same. That would leave me with three by two, so the resulting matrix would be a three by two. So let's see if you have the hang of it. Today is actually the day where incentives have been put in place for you guys. You can write your name on a sheet of paper, work out the problems, and send in an email. So the first prize question today, say use these same matrix, matrices to create a product that will result in a two by one 
use these matrices to create a product two by one. What do I mean by product? We had A times B, C times D, E times F, G times H previously. You all give me a product will result in a two by one matrix. Write it down, write your name, email it to mcpsstv at mcpss.com. Give you about a minute to look at this. You want a two by one matrix. Your resulting matrix should be a two by one when you find a product of any of these combinations. Once again, you want to use any two, any pair that will result in a two by one when you multiply. You can email your answer to mcpsstv at mcpss.com. So let's look at what happened when we actually multiply. All right. You want to multiply the first row by the first column. The first row times the first column. First row of the first matrix, first column of the second matrix. So. 1 times 7, 9 times 2, 3 times 11, and we take the sum of those values, we add those, and we get 58. 1 times 7, 2 times 9, 3 times 11 equals 58. We take that value and we put it in the same place we use. What do I mean by what we use? First row of this matrix first column. So we put it in row one, column one, 58 is the value. Next we want to take the first row, second column. One times eight, two times ten, and three times twelve. We take the sum of those values. 1 times 8 is 8, 2 times 10 is 20, and 3 times 12 is 36. When we add those values, we get 64. We put that in the first row, second column. So the first row, second column, this will go here. So we place that 64 there to get that value. So moving along, we've done the first row by both columns in this matrix. Let's move to the second row. So let's take the second row, first column. Second row, first column. So that is 4 times 7, which is 28. 5 times 9 which is 45, 6 times 11, which is 66. We add those, and we get 139. 139 goes in the place of the values we use, the second row, the first column. So we come down to the second row and the first column, and we place that value there. So we've done first row, first column, first row, second column, second row, first column. Now we need second row, second column. Four times eight, 32. 5 times 10, 50, 6 times 12, 72, we add those and we get 154. And because that's the second row, second column, 
we place those, this value that we receive from doing those in the second row, second column, 154. Now we have our resulting matrix from multiplying these two matrices. Going back to review, we got 58, which is in the first row, first column, by multiplying the first row times the first column. We got 64, which is in the first row, second column, by multiplying first row, second column. We got 139 by multiplying the second row, first column, because it's in the second row, first column. And last but not least, we got 154 by multiplying the second row, second column. So if we were to interchange these two matrices and multiply, let's see what we get. Oh, we have another prize question. There are incentives involved. So let's look at it. Same matrices, different order. Three rows, two columns, two rows, three columns. What should the resulting matrix look like? What should the resulting matrix look like? Make sure you remember we multiply rows by columns to get the result. Give you, give you another minute to look at this. Do a little work at home. Don't forget to email your answer to mcpsstv at mcpss.com. There's an opportunity to possibly get T-shirt and or Chick-fil-A gift card. So let's play dominoes. Multiplying matrices domino activity. When playing dominoes, you must only connect the dominoes that are equivalent or have the same value. So if I have six dots, I must connect it with the six, or five dots, five, four, three, two, one, but they must match up. So in this case, not your traditional dominoes, we're starting with one domino. So those people that play dominoes, this is your spinner. This is your beginning. So we're going to start, this is our start, and we have a matrix. We have a 3 by 2 matrix multiplied by a 2 by 2 matrix. In order to figure out what's the next domino, we have to multiply these two matrices. So let's look at it. We have three choices. We must multiply these two matrices to see which domino connects to this one. So let's look at it. Once again, we must have, we must multiply the rows by the columns here. So the first row is three times negative six three times negative six plus three times five plus three times five. That's first row, first column. Three times negative six is negative 18. Three times five is 15. So that gives us negative three. So in the first row, first column, we should have negative three. Oh, look, we, we do have negative 3 in first row, first column for each one. First row, 
second column three times two plus three times one. Three times two is six plus three times one is three. So three, six plus three is nine. So this is first row, second column. So do we have a nine? First row, second column. This is our domino. But for the sake of doing the whole thing, let's look at all, doing the, multiplying all rows and columns. But we do know this is going to be the domino by process of elimination. First row, second column is nine. This is the only option. Something else to look at to eliminate some things Going back, this is a 3 by 2 matrix, and this is a 2 by 2 matrix, which means it will result in a 3 by 2. So if it will result in a 3 by 2, this could not have been the domino anyway, because this is a 2, 2 rows, 3 columns. This is a 2 by 3. Make sure you understand the difference in 3 by 2 and 2 by 3. 2 by 3, 2 rows, 3 columns. 3 by 2, 3 rows, 2 columns. So we've done the first row with the first two columns. Let's look at the second row. Uh, So let's clear this off. And we have the second row, 2 times negative 6 plus negative 3 times 5. 2 times negative 6, negative 12. Negative 3 times 5, negative 15. Combine those, we get negative 27. That is what we have here. Two and negative three multiplied by this column. So this is two and one is four plus negative 3 equals 1. So we've done the second row, first column. Then we did the second row, second column. Negative 27 and 1 should be the second row. Negative 27, 1. Let's look at third row, which is 3, 6. We're going to add those. We're multiplying by the first column. Negative 6, 5. So that is negative 18 plus 30. Negative 18 plus 30 is 30 minus 18, same as 30 minus 18, which is 12. And 3, 6 is also that same row. And we're going to multiply this time by the second column. 2, 1. Second column, third row. 3 times 2, 6 times 1. Add them together. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 6 is 12. So we already said that we know it's this domino, but I did the whole process so that we can see it. 
So we connect those two dominoes, and we get another matrix multiplication. You multiply these matrices to tell me what the next matrix will look like on the next domino. So once again, write your name, multiply these two matrices, determine the resulting matrix, how many rows, how many columns, then we can multiply. And you can send in your answer, mcpsstv at mcpss.com. It's been a real thrill doing these lessons for you guys with Algebraic Connections for Mobile County Public School System. I hope you've enjoyed and learned something. Be sure that you register for the 2020-2021 school year. Your school has your information if you do not know it. Be sure to register. We had three different prize questions. There were three opportunities to receive prizes today. Let's look at the last one. Multiply these matrix. Email it in. Going back to the rest. We have a glitch, so I hope you copied all of those down. You all have a good afternoon and a great summer. Be safe.